Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 172. The noun phrase today is a goody two shoes. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. A goody two shoes is a person who is exceptionally good, especially in a self satisfied way. The phrase a goody goody is basically the same. So you could say somebody is a goody two shoes or somebody is a goody goody. Okay. Ironically, it is more of a derogatory term, so it's not a compliment. Usually, you know, we think it's good for people to be good, but in this case, it's not. It's almost like they're too good. Uh, it usually expresses the idea that someone is too good and would never do anything wrong or anything against the rules that sometimes uh, puts, you know, is putting a damper on somebody else's fun. So, in that sense, they're not that happy with it. Oh, she's a goody-goody. She'd never do that. But kind of in that sense. That's the way we use it. Okay, so let's continue. So, why do we say goody two shoes? Yeah, I know. I remember hearing this as, uh, earlier. So, goody two shoes? Where, the, where did the two shoes come from? All right. Anyway, let's continue. The origin comes from an actual book of a child's tale called the history of little goody two shoes okay uh in 1765 so it's a long time ago uh it is believed to be written by oliver uh, goldsmith okay the story is about an orphan girl so if she's an orphan so her parents are gone uh, or dead or not there who survives and gets past difficulties or difficult times by having a strong will, being virtuous, you know, not doing anything bad or evil, and working hard. Uh, eventually, she marries a rich man uh, and uses her wealth to help poor people. Uh, at an earlier point in the story, uh, when she was an orphan, uh, she only had one shoe. So she only had one shoe for a long while. She was finally uh, given a new pair of shoes. Okay. And she ran around telling everyone, look, two shoes, two shoes. So that's where goody two shoes comes from. Okay. Uh, yes. So thus the term goody two shoes was born. So that's why they call somebody a goody two shoes comes from this old children's story. Okay. And we have two examples of the way we may hear it today. Uh, don't ask Alice to cut class with us. She is a goody two shoes. She will never do it. Okay. That's one way. Or number two here. Jenny won't break the curfew. Remember, curfew, that's an hour that you're supposed to return by. Uh, at the boarding house, she is such a goody two-shoes. So if you break the curfew, like if you're supposed to be back by 11 p.m. and you're back later, then you broke the curfew. All right, so I guess maybe some other people there, maybe they wanted her to do something with it and break the curfew. They say she'll never do that. So she'll, you know, she kind of spoils or puts a damper on their fun. So their fun is, takes away from their fun. Okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.